Disney World is in a constant state of change. That's how Walt Disney wanted it to make rides even more enjoyable. Rise of the Resistance is a good example of that. Disney took a lot of the things they learned over the years and brought one of the best attractions any of us have ever seen before. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a few of my thoughts about improvements that I think Disney World can make to make the parks even more enjoyable. Some of these things could be changed overnight. Other things would take years. First up, more tables and chairs for the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. This is a change that I would love to see in the future. I'd love to see more seating areas where we can sit down and really enjoy our food. Now, I realize that kind of goes against some of what the Food and Wine Festival is. It's about walking around and getting different food items. If you're sitting for a long period of time, it may, you know, slow that whole process down for everyone. So maybe there's some science behind this, but at least more tables. So you can always find a table when you want to eat some food right near that kiosk where you got it. There have been many occasions where I have put food on a plate on a trash can, which is not uncommon at Walt Disney World. And if you haven't been to Disney before, you may be saying to yourself, Michael, that is disgusting. It is not. It's not. The trash cans are super clean. They're so clean and Disney's working on it all the time. So you could probably just eat off of it. I wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I'm going to use a plate so that the food is, you know, on a plate. You get the idea. But having even more tables, I think, would help with that. The next one is a long-term improvement that I think Disney is already aware of. More general walking space all around the park. The reason I say Disney's already aware of this is because if we look at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, there's a lot of empty space where you can move around, where it's just for you to kind of look around and enjoy, right by that very large Imperial shuttle or walking by the Millennium Falcon. There is some space where you can kind of move around in there. Yes, it's made for larger crowds, but having even larger spaces like that all throughout the parks would be a major improvement, and I think Disney's working on it. Next one on my list, updated monorails. If you've been a part of the magic for a while, you probably knew I was going to bring this one up. Updated monorails. We've heard rumor after rumor after rumor about updated monorails. Some talking about how, you know, Disney's already purchased them. Maybe they're already in transit. Others saying we won't see them for years. It's tough to know. And as Disney makes improvements to the current monorail fleet, I keep thinking to myself, it may be a little bit longer than we expect. Now, the issue around new monorails has to do with the financial cost. They cost a tremendous amount of money. So, so, so much money. My friend Rob actually has a really good video all about monorails. You can find it right there. But let me tell you, building a monorail and putting it together and purchasing it for Disney would be a huge financial hit. And then you have to think about maybe they have to pull this money from a project that they would have worked on, perhaps another ride or a resort. And I'll be honest with you, if I had to choose between a monorail, a ride and resort, I'm putting the rides and resorts first. So yeah, I'm kind of split on this. If it was unlimited funds, then yes, monorails, but yeah, maybe a few more years for rides and resorts. The next one on my list is the paper straws. We've had paper straws at Walt Disney World for a little while now, and they work to a degree. They work for the first, what do you think, 90 seconds, two minutes of use, and then they start to crumble and get a little bit mushy as you use them. The reason why Disney switched the paper straws was to reduce their plastic output into the environment, and it makes a lot of sense, but there are so many other alternatives. We've been over many of those alternatives in other videos, whether it's a metal straw or a much sturdier paper straw, lots of different options, but I would love to see that improved at the parks in the future. Next up, more special events similar to Villains After Hours. The reason I bring up Villains After Hours specifically is because special events at Walt Disney World are fantastic for seeing those attractions with very, very low wait times. But Villains After Hours is unique because they have very special fireworks and characters that you almost never see, and even characters walking through in a parade that are so rare that the only time to see them is at Villains After Hours. More events like that with very unique opportunities, I feel like would really enhance the experience. Now on that note, you know I've got to bring it up, a new nighttime parade at the Magic Kingdom. It has been said over and over and over again by so many in our community, it's time, it is time for a new nighttime parade at the Magic Kingdom. I really hope it comes around for the 50th anniversary. That would be amazing, that would be fantastic, we would love it, we'll wait and see, but it's been too long. It has been too long since we've had a nighttime parade at the Magic Kingdom. After your magical night at the Magic Kingdom, one small area of improvement that I personally recommend would be to enhance that exit strategy as we leave the Magic Kingdom for the night. More often than not, as you leave, you see the monorail's got a line out the door. The buses are really, really crowded as well. Boats, you know, monorail. It, it can be tough to kind of figure out the fastest way, whether it's to the TTC or to your resort hotel. Having even more 
more options I think would help that just a little bit. Maybe even more buses. I know Disney's working on more bus stations for that exact reason. So even more of that. I thought about a gondola taking you to the TTC. That would be super fast, but probably not going to happen. Even more efficient transportation I think is the key. Another one that I was just thinking about. Do you remember when Mickey would talk to you at the Magic Kingdom? I miss it. I, I miss talking Mickey at the Magic Kingdom and I'd love to see him talking more. I'd love to see Minnie and Donald talking as well. Talking characters at the parks. That is just something that, in my opinion, enhances it. I know that there was a, a question of, oh, why does Mickey talk here but not there? I understand that, but maybe it's just something special. Like, there's extra magic in this area so Mickey can talk to you. I don't know, but a conversation with Mickey. I'd love to get back to that. In recent years, we've seen all sorts of throwback merchandise, some of it known as the Yester Years collection. I'd love to see even more. Whether it's Dreamfinder and Figment, Veggie Veggie, Fruit Fruit, whatever, maybe it's the old gondola system in the Magic Kingdom. Something from the past that we can share in merchandise, maybe it's a shirt, a hat, whatever it is, even more vintage Disney. Next up, even more annual pass holder perks and magnets. Over the years, we've seen all sorts of different merchandise and magnets just for pass holders. Some that you purchase and some that are free giveaways. I'd love to see more of both. More of both, just more in general. More magnets, more things for us to purchase. I'm all about the annual pass holder items. Really makes you feel extra special as an annual pass holder. Next up on my mind, I'd love a park that you could go to when it's scheduled to rain for the entire day, which does happen from time to time in Florida. Hmm, indoor theme park. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, wait, that's right, Disney Quest. Let, let's do another indoor interactive theme park. We've discussed several different ideas in the past, whether it's maybe like the void experience, like for multiple floors, something like that where you can go inside, spend the day inside, having a great time, and just kind of avoid the rain or whatever it is. I know Disney Quest was, a, you know, getting out of date, no doubt about it, but something else, some other way for us to have indoor fun at Walt Disney World. Even more. That, that's just, just my take on it. There are lots of indoor rides at Walt Disney World now, but an entire area that's just all indoors and having a good time together. Something else I'd love to see in the park is more interactivity with your phone app as you walk around. Imagine you're playing the Disney Play Parks app and something in the real world changes. Believe it or not, that's already a thing. That's already a thing at Walt Disney World, but I'm talking about the next step. Something else. Something big. Happens. Remember when you used to play Phineas and Ferb, that adventure, and you'd actually see Dr. Doofenshmirtz like come out and walk around in Germany? That was always so, so cool. You could really interact with the park. Taking that to the next level would be even better. Maybe if you do something on your phone, this special secret passageway opens and you can go meet some special character. I mean, that, that's how far I'm thinking that they could take this where you have a lot of interactivity with your mobile device. The next area of improvement, in my opinion, is the Animal Kingdom Rivers of Light We Are One show. The Rivers of Light show is liked by some, no doubt about it. If you love it, that is not a problem at all, no doubt about it. But I'd love to see even more improvements to it because I know it's not the most popular show at Walt Disney World. And I've seen it a few times and I, I do like it, but it's not enough of a draw to make me come back again and again and again, like Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. And somehow making the story more compelling without the fireworks. Remember, they can't do the fireworks in Animal Kingdom and scare the animals. So something else, maybe more fire, maybe some drones flying around, something like that where they could make it pop even more. I know they can, they really, really can, but a, another look at that show I think would be great. Now, speaking of shows that I really do think can be improved, the Christmas show show at Hollywood Studios, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. If you enjoy it, no problem at all, absolutely. We can all love different things, but in my opinion, it could use maybe a remake, perhaps with Marvel characters, something like that, something to kind of bring a lot more magic to that show because it's okay, but not my favorite holiday show at Walt Disney World. Something else to make it even better for all of us. Maybe it's Marvel, maybe it's a drone show over the Chinese theater, or perhaps it's a different Christmas movie from Hollywood, something like that. The last idea I had for today is the Osborne spectacle of dancing lights. We've had it for 20, 25 years. I still miss it. I still miss it. Some of these things are hard to let go of, and the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights is one of those things. We've talked about it before, but some way to bring it to Disney Springs, or perhaps back to Hollywood Studios, around Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, something like that. 
holiday decorations around Walt Disney World with the lights that create designs in the air. It was an unbelievable jaw-dropping experience that I'd love to see again. Those are my ideas. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. What's your number one idea, some improvement that Disney can make? And if you love the shows I mentioned, there's no problem with that. Let's keep those shows for you, no doubt about it. We have different opinions. That's what makes the community so good. We have different thoughts, different opinions. Love to hear yours in the comments. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.